Welcome to Volrath University, Volrath's education center for the food service industry. My name is Richard Rupp, and today I have with me John Wojcik, the director of equipment marketing here at Volrath. Today we're going to talk about induction cooking, and we have two models that John will talk to you a little bit about the features and benefits, and a little later we'll show you some uses for these two models. Hello, today we'll be talking about new products from Volrath, the new Mirage Pro and the new Mirage Cadet. At Volrath, we feature in-house design, in-house development, and in-house manufacturing, which ensures the highest quality products in the induction industry. Uh, in addition, we partner with top customers, top chefs, and top culinary schools to put together the proper specs to make this a practical uh, food service piece of equipment. Let me tell you about the new Mirage Pro. The new Mirage Pro features the new G4 engine. The G4 engine has four IGBTs, or four switches, which gives it incredible temperature control and incredible durability. So durable that you, there is a two-year warranty on this product. The way that the unit works is you turn the unit on, the display will say add pan. So you would add an induction ready pan to it, it'll sense the pan, and then you'll actually see a value. This value is the temperature which is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. We've increased the range to the lower range of 80 degrees for tempering chocolate or for actually keeping chocolate warm. Uh, it also has a timer that you can actually very quickly turn the temperature up or down, a rotary timer with indents so that it actually is a very high quality feel and it's easy to turn quickly. Um, when you take the pan off, it'll say add pan again. A, a unique new feature to this is if you have a non-induction ready pan, which is an aluminum pan, place the pan on the unit, it'll immediately say bad pan, indicating that this is not an induction ready unit. So some nice new features for the new Mirage Pro including the new G4 engine with a two-year warranty. Now let's talk about the new Mirage Cadet. The Mirage Cadet has a new G1 engine, which has one IGBT. It's a more limited feature item than the Mirage Pro. You actually have, if you turn the unit on, you have 20 settings versus 100. You don't have a rotary knob. You basically have up-down push-button control. So this is going to be used for more limited menu items, like an omelet station, something that doesn't require all the cooking techniques of the Mirage Pro. I'm using the Mirage Pro, and today we're going to show some of the benefits of the low end of the control on Mirage Pro. Today we're tempering chocolate. It's very important when you temper chocolate to have accurate temperature control, and the Mirage Pro, with its 100 different settings, really gets you that ideal temperature control. So to temper chocolate, you really want to raise the temperature of the chocolate to about 110 degrees. You want to get the chocolate to that temperature and then cool it to an 87 degrees. So on the Mirage Pro, we have the temperature control where we're going to put it at 90, which is going to sense the bottom of the plate, and therefore we believe the chocolate's going to be 87 degrees. So we've done the chocolate here a little bit ahead of time, just to show you. And some quick little items here that we've put together, just as a quick and easy, nice, elegant looking uh, appetizer or a sweet treat something you can do easily with some chocolate and the Mirage Pro induction unit. I'm using the Mirage Pro to temper chocolate. And now, if you're tempering chocolate, really the, the way we've done it in the past is we've, we've used a double boiler. And you take a double boiler in a water bath, and you'd raise the temperature of the chocolate to 110 degrees, and then you'd have to take the chocolate out of the double boiler and let it cool to 87 degrees. So you'd be back and forth between the water bath and letting it cool. Also, with a water bath in a double boiler, you have to worry about condensation. If condensation were to get into the chocolate, you would actually then have the chocolate would harden. So we really have a better solution. The Mirage Pro, with its low-end control, we have the capability to actually have a temperature setting of 90 degrees. And what we'll do then is we'll heat this up to the 110, but then we'll back it down to that 90 to get the cooling of the chocolate. Now, we can let this here all day long, and it will maintain this 90 degrees on the plate the plate temperature being 90, the chocolate temperature being about 87. So really the low end control of the Mirage Pro is really an excellent feature in this particular application with the strawberries. I'm using the Mirage Pro and at this point we're going to use it to demonstrate the high end capability of the Mirage Pro. So we're going to actually make today a Bardstown bourbon filet. So first thing we're going to do is get the pan nice and hot with our high settings so we'll turn the unit on and we'll turn this up to 100. This is the highest setting on this. Now the, the fastest part of the induction process is, is where the heat the pan because of the energy that the units produce and transfer into the pan so they get very hot very quickly. So what we'll do now is we'll add two ounces 
of a nice olive oil to get nice and hot. And we'll get our fillets in there to sear the fillets. You want nice high heat to sear those fillets nice and quick. And again, with the Mirage Pro, we can take this down a little bit if we'd like. But we still want to get that nice high heat to give a nice sear on our fillets. Okay, now we have one side nice and seared. Go ahead and turn these over and let the other side see some heat. Okay, now I've added a veal demi-glaze to this and we're going to just let this reduce by half. So here's where we want to turn the induction unit down a little bit. So we get that nice medium control to gently reduce this by half. So we'll just let this simmer a little bit and reduce down. Again, stirring up all that nice sizzle we had on the bottom of the pan. All that nice flavor. We'll let this uh, work down about half of its original consistency, reduced by half. Okay, now this has been reduced by half. So you can see it's starting to thicken nicely. So now we're going to add a half cup heavy cream and a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. So we'll put this in our sauce now. We'll let this reduce by half. Okay, now it's reduced again by half. So we're ready here now to take our steaks, plate our steak, and finish it off with our Bardstown bourbon sauce. And there it is from the Mirage Pro high-end settings, everything you need for searing the steak, and then we have the medium control for that nice reduction, and there you have it, Bardstown Steak. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the new Mirage Pro and the new Mirage Cadet induction ranges. You'll find these high-quality products at a food service dealer near you.